Hi, it's Bernie Gobak. I'm talking to you from the Topaz in Cashel, Canterbury, Ireland. Looking at the 15th of July papers in 2012. Starting off with Keep Written Wife. It's actually not a campaign that's currently running, but in 1974 this shot was done. And if you're watching me on youtube.com stroke topical, you'll discover these spectrum images from inside the Sunday Times. You can see the International Photographer's Capture City Life exhibition at the Tate Britain on the 27th of July. Some very interesting black and white photos. I like looking at history as viewed through the photographer's lens. If you're watching me on YouTube, you also see a variety of other clips I've done called News Rounds. This one's of the Sunday Times and Sunday Business Post. I do these things, try to get them to 10 minutes or less. For you guys listening, you 25 people listening regularly, have a look at Beach Volleyball on the front page of Sunday Times. Oh no, volleyball cover-up. Peter Sobora, Peter Sobora has the image. Basically, um, in, in England, they're discovering that maybe it's going to be too cold to have the typical beach volleyball gear. So you're going to be allowed to swap your bikinis for leggings and t-shirts if you wish. Meanwhile, over in Ireland, it's getting cheaper to smoke if you get smokes outside of Ireland. James Riley, who's the health minister, is reporting to look at some real shock tax. So Sarah McInerney has a story that James Riley, the minister, wants to step up his campaign against smoking by increasing the price of cigarettes, from 20 cigarettes, from 9 euro to 15 euro in the next six years. My hope is, well, if he does it, he doesn't include cigarettes as uh, part of the basket for consumer price indexes. Tony Duckwell has a news review story that goes across two pages in the Sunday Times about the proof that cyberspace addiction is causing depression, anxiety, and psychosis. Now, this is a piece that was taken out of Newsweek talking about specific terms of reference such as reactive psychosis, questions about the internet's debilita uh, debilitating, <clears throat> debilitating effects, actually they call it the deleterious effects on the mind, and um, the peer-reviewed research that's coming out is basically showing that the internet's not just a delivery system, but it's a whole new way of uh, interacting with an environment. Uh, I'm concerned about it as well because I think I have a bit of an addiction. At least my bill shows that. Sport cries foul only when abuse touches on race. The question being raised by an article by Michael Clifford is, what if Rio, what if Rio Ferdinand had been a Caucasian Irishman? Well, actually, it's Anton Ferdinand had been a Caucasian Irishman, and the defense, Irish, uh, and John Terry had called him an Irish cunt. Did that come under racism? Well, I don't know. The expert there is Damian Mully, who, if you search Twitter, you'll find a fair use of the term. Is cunt actually a derogatory term? I've always been interested in that. You won't find cunts being used on Sancho. That's a subscription you should get on your iTunes to listen to the Rose Festival next weekend at St. Pan's Park in Rahini. I know last year Peter Donegan, Brian Green profiled that shrub show. I like the techno mission accomplished. It's a, it's a story by Richard Melville in the Sunday Times in gear section talking about innovations in the future for cars, new antennas, which will probably encompass the entire body of the car for a proper Wi-Fi hotspot, touchscreen displays offering proper in-car in entertainment systems. The thing it is, most cars are held onto for more than five years, so we're probably 20 years away from getting that kind of technology in our car, in our driveway. Sony Business Post. Well, in case you're wondering, I'm recording this thing with the Sony Xperia, so I can zoom right on down to about two inches in a venue like this. I got a I could actually hold the paper closer to my uh, face because of uh, the noise in the background. I'm also recording this over on audioboo.fm stroke top gold so you can see that happening now live as I do it. The coalition and the Irish government, Pat Leahy says, is going to offer a 2 billion euro package of measures designed to stimulate growth. They had to argue for them from the Troika uh, construction stuff, primarily for DIT's new complex at Gange Gorman. President Higgins in Ireland warns of the public being righteously angered Kieran Wood reports that the president said that uh, because there's been a failure of trusted institutions here in Ireland. I would agree with him. Who can you trust? Certainly not the banks. I wonder what my daughter's going to think in the future. Young people currently marvel at the concept of going into a bank branch. Richard Kern has a story called Paying for the Bank's Folly in the Sunday Business Post, and he outlines the fact that banks aren't going to have any choice. A local branch such as we have here in Cashel is probably going to have to shut up its branch, but they may get an on-street recharging point because that's the plan, Nicola Cook says. Every town in Ireland with over 1,500 inhabitants will have an electric vehicle charging point by the end of the year. 
I wonder where ours will be, or whether we'll just count the one we have here in McDonald's. Having it in every town like that's going to allow you to go cross country as opposed to down the motorways. Ireland tops for internet use. The rate of mobile internet use in Ireland is 11% higher than the EU average, according to 2010 2012 Mediascope study. It is. I'm getting, I'm getting charged for that. Unexpected fee of an extra 120 euro last, last week, month from O2 because how much stuff I've used, including this kind of stuff, putting this stuff up online. Ireland's a little bit behind in free Wi Fi. Um, that's a fact. Uh, where I'm sitting, it advertises free Wi-Fi here on Topaz, but the fact of the matter is you have to have an Aircom login to get it. The voice you hear in the background, as you can tell, isn't from the local audience seated up top here, but instead by a little boy in the corner who's enjoying his McDonald's balloon and bashing at the kickstands that are available for kids. I'm Bernie Goldbach. I'm Top Gold on Twitter. Thanks a bunch for watching if you're on YouTube and listening if you're on audio. Bye for now.